फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर एंड एक्सीयल डिस्चार्ज इन एन इम्पल्स टर्बाइन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम फॉर द फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर एंड एक्सीयल डिस्चार्ज इन इम्पल्स टर्बाइन बाय यूजिंग कंबाइन वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल डायग्रैम In earlier video, we have discussed that while drawing the combined velocity triangle diagram, we have to take v r is equal to v r one. In this video, we are going to discuss how to draw the combined velocity triangle diagram with the effect of friction as well as axial discharge. Let us first understand the effect of friction. some resistance is always offered by this blade surface on the steam jet when it is gliding over the surface so what is the effect of this resistance or we can say friction so it reduces the relative velocity of the steam jet so we can say that whenever the friction is present then this vr1 is less than vr so we have to write this effect of friction as vr1 is less than vr and the ratio of vr1 to the vr is known as blade velocity coefficient it is also known as coefficient of velocity or friction factor and the notation is k let us understand what is the effect of axial discharge so what is this axial discharge when the steam leaves at the outlet tip at 90 degree to the direction of motion of blade then it is known as the axial discharge in this diagram vb that is this horizontal lines towards the right hand side direction is the direction of motion of the blade now at the exit tip that is at point d we have to draw one perpendicular line so this is the perpendicular line that is the vertical line and along this line this steam leaves so we can say that along this line we have to show here v1 now vf1 that is the velocity of flow is also along the same line so we will say that v1 is equal to vf1 so this is the vr1 that is the relative velocity at the exit tip so if we observe this diagram so in this diagram there is no any velocity of whirl so velocity of whirl that is vw1 is equal to 0 then v1 is equal to vf1 and beta that is the angle is equal to 90 degree now we will solve one problem to understand how to draw the combined velocity triangle with the effect of friction and axial discharge for the impulse turbine so here is the given data so we will understand the given data so here the velocity of blade is given it is equal to 175 meter per second absolute velocity at inlet that is v is equal to 400 meter per second then the coefficient of velocity or we can say friction factor k is equal to 0.9 alpha is equal to 19 degree it is also given that the steam flows axially after passing through blades that means this is the case of axial discharge and we have to draw the combined velocity triangle diagram now we will first understand this given data with the help of diagram so i will draw here one rough diagram that is here is the blade now we know that this point c is the inlet tip and point d is the outlet tip of the blade now this vb that is the motion of the blade is given that is velocity 175 meter per second so for this blade cd how how to show this motion so this motion is in the horizontal direction and towards the right hand side so this is the direction of motion of the blade then v is equal to 400 meter per second so this v that is the steam coming from the nozzle is moves along towards this inlet tip along this v so how to draw this v so i will draw here this is v and k is also given that is the friction factor and angle alpha now what is the angle alpha means it is the angle between this absolute velocity v to the direction of motion of the blade 
that is this horizontal line so if i draw here one horizontal line parallel to this vb then this angle is known as angle alpha now we will complete this diagram so we will first select one point so i will select here one particular point and that point suppose this is b now at this point b this angle alpha is given that is equal to 19 degree so if i take from this rough line suppose i will consider this will be the rough line and from this line we have to select one point that is at 19 degree angle now from this 19 degree angle we have to draw the line and what is the distance velocity that is 400 meter per second now we will select one scale 1 centimeter is equal to 10 meter per second so for 400 meter per second we have to take 40 centimeter distance so from this point b at 19 degree angle we will draw here one line which is equal to 40 centimeter So this is the line with 40 centimeter and here angle alpha. Now this diagram is getting completed. So this point will be the point C. Now what is this point? So this is for this magnitude 400 meter per second and it is for the angle alpha that is this horizontal line and this inclined line v so this is nothing but v so i will say that this is the absolute velocity v now how to decide its a direction so if we observe the steam jet is moving towards the down downward side so we have to show here the same direction that is downward side so this is the direction of v now we have to resolve this V into two components that is one horizontal component and one vertical component. So in rough I will resolve this. So this is the vertical component and this is the horizontal component. So this vertical component and here is the direction. Now we will complete this. Now through this point C I will draw here one vertical component. And after that we have to draw the horizontal component and we have to complete this triangle that is BC and suppose this point will be point E. Then EBC will be the triangle we have to complete that. So we will draw here. So this triangle is getting completed. Now we will show direction. So direction of this vertical component is down, downward direction. And what is this component EC? So we know that this vertical component is known as velocity of flow that is Vf. And what is this horizontal component? So this horizontal component that is EB is known as the velocity of work that is Vw. So we have to show here. So I will show here the velocity of world that is Vw. Now it is also given that Vb. Vb is equal to 175 meter per second. Now we have to select this distance as per the scale. That is 17.5 centimeter. So from this point B we have to select one point inside this triangle at a distance of 17.5 centimeter so here will be the point a and this distance a b is nothing but it is equal to v b so we will show that so this is nothing but v b now we will join this point a and point c now what is this a c that is nothing but v r that is the relative velocity and we will show direction towards the downward direction now this tr velocity triangle at the inlet tip is getting completed now we will move to draw the velocity triangle at the exit tip or at the outlet tip how to draw now here the friction factor or we can say velocity of coefficient is given that is k is equal to 0 0.9 
So what is k? K is nothing but the ratio of v r one to v r, which is equal to zero point nine. So how to calculate v r one? So v r one is equal to zero point nine v r. Now this v r is not given in the data. So from this diagram we will measure this distance in between a to c and which is equal to twenty four centimeter. So twenty four centimeter means what? One centimeter, ten meter per second. So twenty four centimeter that means two forty meter per second. Therefore, V R is equal to two forty meter per second. And as per this equation, V R one is equal to zero point nine into two forty. That is two hundred sixteen meter per second. Now this V R one that we have to draw here. So how to draw? So for that. We have to take the a as a center in the compass, and we have to take a distance to one six meter per second. So as per this scale, twenty one point six centimeter. So I will select here the point with distance twenty one point six centimeter. So here is the point. Now we have to draw here one arc. This arc is getting completed. Now we have to locate this v r one. So how to locate? Now, if we observe the other condition, that is, steam flows axially after passing through blades. Now, we will understand this concept with the help of this diagram. So, at this point, the steam passes axially. That means it will be perpendicular to the direction of motion of blade. So, V B is in the horizontal direction. Now, we will draw here one vertical line. So, along this vertical line, steam passes. That means absolute velocity. V one is along this vertical line. Now, in the same way, we will draw here one vertical line. That is for V one. So, if I draw here one vertical line passing through this point B, and we will show the same arrow that is in the downward direction, then here is V one. Now, the point of intersection for this line passing through B and this. R is known as the point D, and if we connect this point A and D, then it is nothing but relative velocity, that is V R one at the exit point. Now we will join this. So this is V R one. Now how to draw the V R one at this point D? So we know that. It will be the tangential to D and in this direction. That is, the arrow is towards the left hand side. So we will show arrow also. So this is the triangle that is getting completed. Now we know that when there is the axial discharge, then this V V one is equal to V F one. That is, V F one velocity of flow is also along the same line. And this distance A B is nothing but It is equal to uh, by magnitude. It is equal to V B. That is the velocity of uh, linear velocity of this blade. Now, what about the V W? That is the velocity of whirl at this outlet tip. So when there is the axial discharge, then V W one is equal to zero. And we have to show here the angle. That is nothing but the angle beta. So this angle beta means what? It is the angle between This v1 and the direction of motion of the blade. That is this angle beta, and which is equal to 90 degree. Now, if we observe the given data, the blade angle at inlet tip is given. That means we can say that the blade angle at inlet tip. Uh, that means the angle between this v, that is the absolute velocity, and the to the direction of motion of the blade. That is given. Now, what about the angle at the outlet tip? So, how to find out the angle at the outlet tip? So, here is the V R one. So, angle between this V R one to the direction of motion of the blade, that is along the horizontal line. This is known as the angle at the outlet tip. That means angle phi. So, here. We have to measure this angle phi, and this angle phi is equal to thirty-six degree. If we draw this diagram as per the scale, 